we all knew of this friend in atlanta who had infamously asked his roommate to return the 2 dollar 30 cents does moving abroad make you conjuice our nris conjuice my name is nupur dave i help nris make critical decisions i was once talking to a colleague he and i had a common friend and we were talking about that common friend who is an extremely accomplished person living in the united states he's smart he's intelligent he's rich and very accomplished like iit je ranker and what did this colleague address and remember him by he called him are wo to maha kanjus hai let's understand what i call emotional finance indians have a perception that nris living abroad are very wealthy while nris living abroad have a perception that they are not wealthy in fact they think they're really poor i've heard them say things like mere sab paise khatam ho jate hain we don't have enough money and i've written about it in my book i'll read a paragraph we all knew of this friend in atlanta who had infamously asked his roommate to return the 2 dollar 30 cents his roommate owed him the problem conjuice people face is that that's all they are remembered for they may have lent a shoulder to crying fans kept a purse to hold a seat at a packed concert but if the kanjus hesitated to pay for coffee even once that is all they'll be remembered for like the 2 dollar 30 cent guy kanjus people martyr themselves into their friends kanjus hall of fame by making small sacrifices to save money the poor chaps are probably not even aware of their kanjusness why is this so let's uh, dig a little deeper to understand why nris feel poor and why they may or may not be poor first thing is very important to understand that indians come from diverse economic backgrounds and many grew up middle class first one is 4 dollars does not mean 4 dollars growing up in poverty often means that people close to you have struggled a lot so when you move abroad your parents may have spent their very hard earned money on you so a 4 dollar spend is not a 4 dollar spend it's mom's face it's dad's sacrifice it symbolizes something it symbolizes hard work sacrifice your parents even crying because they must have had bad bosses and they sat through all of that for many many years so that they could give you a good education so money spent is not the value of the money is what it represents this makes a lot of indians prioritize necessities over luxuries even when their financial situation improves and this is why the 2 dollar 30 cent guy asks for that money back because probably in his head spending that as a student meant the hard work of his mother the second is the habit of thriftness So the habit of not spending becomes deeply ingrained in childhood. So NRIs who've experienced financial hardship as a child might continue to live modestly even if they have means to afford more. In fact, they themselves don't even believe that they can afford more and they often use their bank as a current account. They only look at the money they're earning per month rather than money as a whole set of assets with which you can do so much. and the third is value versus cost many times uh, indians focus on the cost of a good instead of the value it brings so say for example a second hand cheap tan toyota is something you buy but you what you really want is a powerful good looking car and you deny yourself it people who have experienced poverty while growing up even assess whether purchase provides real value or is it a feel good so saving is prioritized over spending and cost is prioritized over comfort there is nothing wrong in any of this the problem comes when you let it get in the way of having fun or friends so often the perception of you being a kanjus starts coming up if you say refuse to pitch in for a meal for example a vegetarian teetotaler is in a meal with a non-veg drinkers and feels like he doesn't need to put in the same amount of money as the non-veg drinkers now the thing is just don't do that if you want to save money just avoid going but if you're going to friends with for dinner you pay and you are not paying for the food you are paying for their time and company there are small things like this that indians living abroad can think more deeply about and instead enjoy their time and their friends more than worrying about 
the money and what value comes with it. I hope you enjoyed this. My name is Nupur Dave. I help NRIs make critical decisions. Thank you for watching.